Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at how to find the area of an equilateral triangle. Well first we need to know what an equilateral triangle is and it's in a triangle with three equal sides. So we're going to give each side the value of 10. So if we know this side's 10, this side ten is 10, and this side is 10. And so that's what an equilateral triangle is. Now to find the area we need to know that the area of a triangle is equal to one half the base times the height. Well we have the base and that's 10 but we don't have the altitude or the height. So the height is equal to the altitude. So this is how you find it in an equilateral triangle. First you take the base and you split it in half when you draw this altitude down. So this side is 5 and this side is 5. And then you take that short side, this leg right here that's 5, and you multiply it by the factor of the square root of 3 and that just comes back to your 30, 60, 90 rules. So that means this triangle that has a, each side of 10 has half the side of 5 and so the altitude is 5 square root 3. Now I'm going to take those and plug them in to this formula. So to find the area I'm going to have one half the base. Well the base is 10 so I'm going to plug in 10 and the height the height is our altitude and we just figured out our altitude is 5 square root 3. So we're going to take 5 square root 3 and we multiply all that together. So half of 10 is 5 and 5 times 5 times the square root of 3 is 25 square root 3 square units. And that is how you find the area of an equilateral triangle. Now let's look at one a little bit differently, same patterns. But let's say this time you're given the altitude and you have to work backwards to figure out the side. So I'm going to erase all this and this time I'm going to give you the altitude. And altitude is going to be, let's just say it's 6. Okay, to work from this altitude back to this shorter leg I'm going to have to, instead of multiplying by this square root of 3, I'm going to have to divide by the square root of 3. And 6 divided by the square root of 3 gives me this side, which is 6 divided by the square root of 3 is 2 root 3. Okay, where did I get that? I just rationalized that by multiplying by square root of 3 times square root of 3. So I got 6 root 3 over square, um, just 3, which simplifies to 2 square root 3. Now that's this length right here, but I need to double it to get the length of the side. So I'm going to take that times 2 which is 4 square root 3 and that gives me the length of this whole side. So that means these three sides are all 4 square root 3. Now let's go back and plug in one half the base and our base is 4 square root 3 times our height. Well we were given that, that was 6. So one half of 4 is 2 2 times 6 is 12 square root 3 square units. And that is how you would find it if you were given altitude and had to work backwards. Hope this video was helpful.